Hey everybody, this video once again brings us back out to Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. And yes, of course, the reason why we are back in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania again is to check out there. <laughs> Goodwill, because I, I don't know, I have to stop in here every single week. I honestly drive up and down this road multiple times a week. I probably should be stopping into this store multiple times a week just to see maybe possibly if they got anything, anything new in. There have been many times where some of you who are also from the area tell me that, oh, I went in here like an hour after you and found all kinds of amazing stuff, or I came in here the following day or the day before and found criterions and error releases and all kinds of really neat things that made me, make me think, wow, when I was driving past the other day, I should have probably stopped in. So anyway, we are back at the Goodwill. We're gonna see what we can find. Hopefully some amazing deals. Hopefully today is the day where I find all the good stuff they just put out. Fingers crossed, power positivity. Let's go see what we can find. All right, well, this was kind of unexpected. There's a weird bubble thing going on here today. That is interesting. Like most of the store, a good, yeah, I would say like 75% of the store is actually completely walled off right now by all this Plastic. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe putting some new flooring down or something like that. I was, I was not expecting to see this. All I, all I know is I think the media is is open. We can still get to the media, and that's all. That's all I care about. Weird. I feel like I'm in an episode of X Files or something. I will say the one good thing about whatever they're doing over there is they're making a lot of noise. There's that constant like rumbling sort of sound, which is drowning out the 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 music of the dance club, which is which is nice. I'd rather. I rather the loud humming sound of whatever's going on, the, the new floors being put down or the cleaning of the floors or whatever's happening over there than the um, the club music they have rocking in this place all the time. Anyway, so the media section is um, not looking too good. Don't think much restocking has happened over the last um, week. So will I actually be finding anything today? Eh, we'll see. All right, well, actually, yeah, maybe I am finding something here, although they're asking $4 for this. Not too thrilled about that price, but it's Hitch on Blu-ray. According to my lists, I only have Hitch on DVD in my collection. Kind of thought I had it on Blu-ray, but apparently I do not. I double check my lists. I only have this on DVD, so that would definitely be worth picking up as an upgrade. What is on sale this this week? I have no idea what's on sell, 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 sale. I have no idea what color. I don't know if it's, it, maybe it's red. Maybe, Maybe I can get this for two dollars. I see a sign. Red, red, red tagged stuff is actually on sale for half price. All right, yeah, for two bucks. I'm picking this up. What in the heck is this? Mr. Video, the leader in live videography. Omaha, St. Louis, Phoenix, Orlando. What? I have no idea what this could possibly be. Package nine, junior, wait, junior levels four and five, junior co, what? This is so weird. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna put it back. That's bizarre. I think my wife may have actually watched this show, so, ugh, but um, I've never seen it. How to Get Away with Murder, the complete second season. Yeah, I've never, I have never seen this one. Any, any good comments down below? I'm probably just gonna pass on this. Doesn't really look like a show I would super crazy get into, but like I said, I think the wife watched that show, which, or I think about it has me slightly ever so concerned. All right, well, that's gonna do it for the shelves because um, there's not much to look through on the shelves. It's just this one little area here of movies. That is, that is it. What are they doing over there? That is insane. Again, better than music, but still, that's crazy. Anyway, so we're gonna be finishing up here on the, uh, the shelves and moving over onto the spindle rack. Hopefully, maybe there's something over here I need. Maybe, I'm, I'm gonna tell myself they have actually gotten new stuff in. They put new, they put new stuff, they put in, they put new stuff out, and it's it's all right here on this spindle rack. I'm gonna, that's what I tell myself. I'm gonna keep the power of positivity alive. There's gotta be something else I want here. Although so far I'm not really finding very much. They have a Mr. IBU. I've never, never seen that one. Probably gonna pass on Mr. IBU. If any, if any of you guys out there have seen this, leave. leave Leave a comment down below. Anyway, um, so yeah, Mr. IBU, gonna end up passing on this. Just realized though, when it uh, fell, it actually opened up and it's a, it's like a DVD R release. I have no idea what this is. So yeah, we're just, we're gonna pass on that. And uh, they have the true story of Puss in Boots. So if you've seen that Antonio Banderas Shrek crap, no, 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 that's not the original story. That's that's not the true story. This right here with Will with William Shatner. Well, William Shatner tells the true story of Puss in Boots. Forget Antonio Banderas. It's all about the Shat. 
There actually are a couple of Blu-rays over here, things like um, The Prince of Persia, If I Stay, Man of Steel, Kung Fu Panda, The Dark Knight, all stuff I already have, nothing I need. They do have a copy of The Crucible. I actually just watched this the other night. I have a DVD copy of this in my collection as well, and I had never gotten around to watching it, so finally did. This was a fantastic movie. I highly recommend this. All about the Salem Witch Trials. Definitely a good watch, but like I said, I already have it. I've already seen it. I do not need that, and again, I think I'm coming up uh, kind of empty-handed. This is pretty awesome, but of course, I already own it. It's Mickey Mouse Season 1 from the, um, I don't know, new Mickey Mouse shorts, the new Mickey Mouse series. I guess it's not really new anymore. They based an entire attraction off it in Disney's Hollywood Studios and in Disneyland, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So I guess I can't really call this new anymore, but I don't know. I, I still call them the new Mickey Mouse shorts, the new Mickey Mouse cartoon series. I love this show, but I do already own it. Look at to see what this goes for, and the answer is not very much. So I am just going to pass on this, but I got to ask, Disney, did you ever release the other seasons of this? I don't think they ever did. I don't think season two and on were ever released to physical media, which is kind of a shame. I watch these shorts all the time on Disney+. Plus. I love them. They're fantastic. They're extremely, extremely funny. And I wouldn't mind seeing some more pie-eyed Mickey on, um, on physical media. So Disney, if you're watching, and I know you are, let's give us the rest of the, uh, the seasons on DVD or, or Blu-ray. Here we go. The story of Jesus for children. <laughs> what exactly is the story of Jesus for children. I'm, I'm very curious. They just they just leave out all that nasty crucifixion and all that nasty on um, the torture and the the crown of thorns. That that never happened. Seriously, I'm I'm a little intrigued about how exactly the uh, the story of Jesus is told for children. Isn't the story of Jesus just the story of, of Jesus? It is it is what it is. It doesn't, it, it doesn't change. It's it's just the it's the story. Is that it looks like like William Defoe? <laughs> Am I wrong? Does that not look like William Defoe? I don't think it's William Defoe, but. It looks like William Defoe telling the story of, of Jesus for children. Okay, curiosity got the better of me. I had to look it up. It's actually um, Brian Deacon. He is who is playing Jesus Christ, not um, not William Defoe. I didn't, I didn't think it was William Defoe, but I don't know. I Had I walked away from that, I would have been wondering for the rest of my life, did William Defoe tell the story of Jesus for children? All right, so I'm thinking that's just about going to do it for the, um, the movies. I'm not seeing anything else over here I want to pick up. They did have a couple things on the... Uh, the rack here, but again, it's nothing I actually need, nothing I have any interest in, nothing I don't already own, or nothing I want to pick up for the store. So it's just going to be the um, the brand new factory sealed copy of Hitch on Blu-ray for only two dollars. Pretty excited about that. I'm just hoping I don't already own it. I I double check my lists. My lists say I only have it on DVD, so I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that I only do have this on DVD. It's just I don't know a little voice in the back of my head saying like, no, you you you, you already bought that. You already you already upgraded this to to Blu-ray, so we're gonna find out. I don't know, but again, as far as movies are concerned, that's gonna do it. And of course, before I leave the media section, I have to go through all the CDs, which there aren't many of, unfortunately. I don't know if these have been picked through or if they've just taken these and sent them off to a discount center or something like that, an outlet center, I have no idea, but there's not much here. Man, man I was hoping for some more Mandy Moore, like last week. Actually, I don't know, that Mandy Moore find was pretty cool. It was a CD, DVD combo. I think it was actually a pretty awesome find for for not very much. I was pretty happy about that. But anyway, not really seeing anything over here. I was kind of tempted by the, the Dr. Seuss CDs, but I don't know. They're just the stories. I don't really need those, so I am going to end up passing on those. So, um, all right, no, no Mandy Moore, no other CDs as well. And last but not least is the toy, toy section. <laughs> This is it for their toy section at the moment. I don't know what exactly they're doing here. I don't know if they, I don't know if like stuff is is sitting in back or if they. I don't I don't know what they did. But there's not much going on here at this Goodwill. I mean, I, again, I know I know most of it's actually walled off. It's all bubbled off. They got all that plastic wrap up. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're just not putting stuff out. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. But the I mean the media section's kind of dead. The the toy section's kind of dead. They have a. A rock here. Actually, this is this is kind of awesome. I'm not gonna lie. The rock is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna get it. I don't need that, but that's pretty neat. And of course, they have the the the, bar, the Barbie, which I'm not gonna do because I'm not gonna knock it over. So anyway, I I don't know. That's gonna do it for the um, the toy section. There's there's nothing there. So um, I think that's about gonna do it for this this Goodwill. Unfortunately, ooh, I don't know what this is, but it's got Mickey Mouse on it. Oh my gosh, how did I almost miss this? I have no idea if I just picked it up on camera because if I did, I guarantee you some of you guys were just screaming at me. I almost missed the Miss Argentina Beetlejuice. What is this, light up head? That is awesome. Does it still work? It does, she still lights up. That is so cool. It, 
if she knew what she knows now, she wouldn't have had her, her little accident. That is awesome, that is amazing. I am definitely picking this up for the library. They're only asking $3 on it. Yeah, that's that's going home with me and that's that's going on a shelf. That is too amazing. I, I love Beetle, Beetlejuice. I, how many times, I think I, did I say it three times? I hope I didn't say it three times. Anyway, I'm, I'm picking this up. I'm not saying it again. And you know what? I'm gonna pick up the, um, the little Mickey Mouse, I don't know, plate holder, book holder, whatever this is. I can use this in the library. They're only asking um, $2 for it because it has a red tag. So $3.99, marked out to $2. It's, it's neat looking, it's got Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick it up. So, all right guys, um, yeah, I think that's, that's about gonna do it. All right, so yeah, that is gonna do it for this very weird, very noisy, very bubbled off trip out to uh, out to the Goodwill here in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Honestly, though, I'm kind of happy with my finds. I picked up a, a Blu-ray, something I'm upgrading to from from DVD to Blu-ray. I'm always I'm always happy to upgrade stuff. The Miss Argentina, that was actually a really awesome find. That's the find of the day right there. That's cool. And I don't know, I'm, I'm digging the the Mickey Mouse book holder, plate holder, whatever this is. I think it's pretty awesome. I'm definitely gonna be able to put some use to that either here in the library or when I move down to uh, to Florida. So, all right guys, so that's, oh wait, there's more. There's some more, to oh no. Oh no, are they finally moving the toys? I heard they were gonna do this. They were gonna start putting toys on top of the, uh, the clothing. I hate when Goodwills do this. Look at the Anastasia dolls, that's pretty cool. And the Anastasia train, that's also kind of neat. I'm gonna pass on those, but, um, I don't know, I heard I heard they were maybe starting to do this, and it looks like they actually maybe have already started. I don't actually see anything over here I want to pick up, so I'm thinking I'm I'm good, but um, yeah, toys I guess are gonna be on. I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping this is temporary. I'm just gonna tell myself, no, this is temporary. It won't stay like this. Toys, as soon as the bubble's gone, toys are gonna be back on the shelves, right? I hope so. All right, guys, anyway, that's gonna do it. So as always, thank you all so much for, look at the 101 Dalmatians shirt. I gotta get out of here. I'm finding cool things. All right, so anyway, guys, that's it. So as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for daily adventures. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.